All right, we have an HTC One X. And this is a thorough review or an honest review of my experience with it for the last maybe week or 10 days that I've had it. And this is by far the nicest piece of hardware that I have ever used in an Android phone. Um, I can't say the same for the software, but I can say the same for the hardware. It, uh, it's beautifully designed. The, the way it feels in your hand is, is just quite stunning. The screen, uh, I love how the edge of the screen sort of just rolls off the end of the phone and it just, your finger doesn't hit any sort of <clears throat> edge or it just sort of grazes across this phone. The phone is very sleek feeling. Um, and the back, the polycar back is just uh, really, really pleasant to hold on to. Um, it's not shiny, it's not slippy like the iPhone. It's uh, an in-between sort of rubber and metal or glass feeling. The camera inlay is just beautiful. I love how how the camera is just really, really nicely sort of put into the back of this phone. It, it does sort of stick out a bit um, and look sort of odd, but in general, it's pretty nice. Um, you do have that that gentle curve, sort of a la Galaxy Nexus, um, you know, and it's designed. It is rather thin, rather light, uh, not as light as some of the Galaxy series, so it doesn't feel cheap. It feels sort of mid-level in terms of weight. <clears throat> The um, the other thing that I like about it is it's super sort of sleek and so it slides in and out of your pocket really nicely. We've got a, a micro SIM port um, over here, so that's that's pretty easy to get to, and a um, micro USB on the side, which I don't actually like that that's on the side because when I when I charge my phone at night, um, I've got my cable sort of hanging around the edge, and it I don't know, it just it's harder to deal with. I, I'd rather have it over here, but. Um, Great design in the hardware. Uh, this you can see these these holes here are just drilled with very very precision um, engineering. That, that's that's pretty slick looking. Uh, the same goes for the back uh, as well. These are these holes are pretty pretty awesome. And this whole unibody sort of polycarbonate is it's nice. Uh, and you have this inlay of, of I guess these are dock chargers or dock accessory ports. I'm not really sure. I don't have a dock for it yet. But um, that's enough for the hardware and the outside. So we should talk more about the, the software side of this phone. Um, that's where my praise for this phone sort of stopped. I, don't get me wrong, I love Android. And I use Android probably more than I use Windows Phone 7 and, and iOS because of the flexibility and the cool things you can do with Android. Um, this phone and this version of Android is half-baked. And I cannot believe that HTC let this out of the door, uh, being as is. There's, uh, if you check my other reviews, you'll see that the browser is slower than the iPhone 4S in terms of its browsing speed. Um, widgets, my calendar widget crashes, or excuse me, it doesn't crash, it just doesn't work. It, it doesn't update the dates. It doesn't update my, my events. Um, if I have an event come and go, it will stay on here. And unless I poke the calendar, does it actually refresh on the home screen? And so that's a pretty glaring bug. I also noticed some lag in scrolling with certain widgets on the home screen. Uh, in particular, if I add the Zillow app to the home screen, you'll notice a, a pretty substantial lag um, in the in the scrolling and so let me see if I can just add that Zillow app real quick and see if I can reproduce the problem um, I actually took the Zillow app off Because I don't want to deal with the home screen lag and it annoys me to have to watch my home screen lag because of a stupid little widget so There's definitely parts of this phone that just aren't ready for <laughs> Um, deployment and I'm not really sure what they did or why they decided to use this version of, this, of Sense and not finish it. Maybe they were pushed to go or something. I, I don't know. But I don't see... Well, there was a little... You can sort of see it there. Um, there's just a tiny, tiny little bit of delay in that scroll. See that little hiccup right there? There it is again. You can see it. It's just jerky, right? And so certain certain widgets will do that. The other thing that really doesn't make any sense and, and annoys me is when I turn my GPS on, it should stay off until an app draws the need for GPS. 
And this phone con continuously and constantly uses my GPS, right? And so there's no reason the GPS should be running. And, you know, if I were to fire up maps, then, then yeah, I would expect the GPS to come on and I would expect the GPS to find my location, um, you know, way up here in Anchorage, Alaska. Um, and once the GPS gets a lock and then I were to go to home and close it, that icon should go away and the GPS should stop running and stop using battery power. And that's not the case. You know, I can quit the GPS. I can quit my calendar. I have no open apps and this GPS still stays on. And that goes as well as if I reboot this phone, it will stay on if I reboot. So something's up with the software. Um, you know, you've got lag in home screen, you've got widgets that don't work, you've got GPS that doesn't uh, close properly. I, I really can't understand why HTC would allow this kind of software to be released. Now, moving on, that is probably the few things about this phone that I don't like. What I do like about this phone is that the screen is phenomenal. If you have ever seen an iPhone 4S or a Retina display and have been totally wowed by that screen, which is deservedly so, I mean, Apple has made a great screen with that phone. This phone rivals the iPhone and it is better than any other screen I have seen out there in a smartphone. Um, the crispness in the text and the color accuracy in the um, images and, and graphics that you'll see, just it's just mind boggling. I mean, stuff just stands out. Things, you know, text is just beautiful. Uh, let's see if I can pull up a, we've got a DP review page here. I know this might be a little bit difficult to see, but it, things, things just really, really stick out with this phone. Um, it is a dream to read on this phone. It's a dream to browse the web. Things just look gorgeous on this display. Um, it is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely the best Android handset in terms of display that I have seen and that I've used. Um, I do say the same thing about the iPhone though, right? So if you're trying to decide between this and the iPhone, um, it's gonna come down to, to a couple things and we can talk more about that later, but for right now, I'm gonna talk about more things that I like about this phone. The first thing that I said was the screen, okay? Second thing that I like is the camera. I think the camera is, is quite good. I, you can check my other videos for reviews of this phone um, against the iPhone and the HTC Lumia, and I, I feel like this phone is lacking in the camera department a little bit. And the, the biggest thing that I don't like is the how you can quickly get to the camera. I don't like this little slide to unlock ring thing. I think it's, it's a little bit tricky that you've got to like finagle that and you know sometimes it's hard to get to. And that being said, the, the camera itself is rather handy. It, it, it's super fast um, to focus. You know, if I were to just go over here and, and take a picture of this lamp, I push to focus, you hear the little confirmation there, right? And then snap away, you get a shutter sound. And um, camera itself is really fast. I like using the camera. I don't particularly like the results of the camera. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great camera to have in your pocket, right? The quality is nice, the sharpness is nice, the speed is nice. It just, I think it's a little bit over sharpened. I think that the white balance and color accuracy could, could be adjusted a bit. Um, there's things about it that aren't as good as some of the other cameras, but in general, it's, it's pretty nice. It's, it's a, definitely a nice thing to have in your pocket. Um, I haven't really played with the front-facing camera. I'm sure that, you know, it works like most other front-facing cameras. Um, we can see if we can switch it around here. Uh, camera front, and you'll see a picture of me and probably the Canon camera that I'm using. Yep, so anyway, the the nicest thing about the, the main camera on this phone <clears throat> is that the, the images are 8 megapixel, which is nice. That that's definitely rivals some of the other you know phones that are out there. And um, quality is good. I wouldn't put it at great. I would put it at, at good and acceptable. So you can see that that delay there in that in the home screen. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> I know I'm picky, but you shouldn't have lag like that. See that that should not happen. Um, it should be smooth. So getting back to software. Um, HTC Sense is definitely a love-hate relationship. I don't like HTC Sense very much. Um, I think that 
I prefer regular stock Android. I would actually go as far as saying I prefer TouchWiz to HTC Sense. Um, they have done a bit in terms of making it better with Sense 4. I think it's sort of less in your face. Uh, I, I still, there's still stuff about this though that is just not, I don't know. I mean, it, I just prefer clean Android like you get on the Galaxy Nexus or TouchWiz that you get on the Galaxy, uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, series of phones. Um, that, you know, is more of a personal preference. There's nothing wrong in, in, with HTC Sense in general. It's just a, a pretty heavy overlay on top of Android. So I think if you're a fan of HTC Sense, you'll like Sense 4. There's some neat stuff about it. You know, the weather stuff is pretty cool and you get a little weather screen when you wake up in the morning with what the forecast is. And, um, you know, it's just got little things that make it nice. But now if we go back to some of the other stuff about this phone that, that sort of stands out, um, <clears throat> it does make it nice to have things like Google Chrome, which, you know, is not unique to this phone, but it is unique to Android 4. And so you can do things like sync your bookmarks and sync your browser history if you have Google Chrome uh, on your desktop, which is, is sort of a nice feature. Um, but it, like I said, it's not specific to the HTC One series. The um, the best, uh, let's see if I remove this and see if that speeds things up. Yeah, see, I mean, it's like immediately noticeable how smooth everything is now. And if I go back in here, yeah, I don't know what's up with that Zillow app or this operating system, but something's not right. So anyway, if you're trying to decide on this phone versus, uh, say, the iPhone or the HTC Lumia, definitely check my other reviews because I've got great side-by-sides between these phones and other popular phones, and so it'll help you make your decision on what you think is best. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is I'm about to root this phone and put a custom firmware on to see if I can get rid of some of these bugs and see if we can speed it up a bit and make it a little bit more reliable. So. I give this phone sort of a uh, half thumb, not a thumb up, not a thumb down. Um, I do like it, I do carry it every now and then, but um, I can't really say that I'm, I'm, you know, enamored with it because of the problems with the software and some of the other issues. But uh, still a nice handset, still nice hardware. Um, if you can tweak the software and we can get some changes uh, for that, then I think it'd be a great device. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.